Hello lovely people. Welcome to my channel, Mama Makwaba. Today we are going to sew this stylish pencil skirt. And so what I have here are my curves. I have my piece here. My scissors. My tape measure. And I have this fabric. I've already divided them for front. And this is for back. Now, how to get your fabric is your hip measurement that is the larger part of your body which is the hip divided into four plus your allowances then you put it on fold so this front is on fold so the hip is 43 divided into four so let's say 44 divided into four and that's going to be 11 and i added three inches to eight making 14 and so when I measure here, it's 14. That is for the front. So 14 on fold. 14 on fold is going to be 28. So this is 28 for front. And then the back to 28 plus zip allowance of one and half. So I have one and a half here, making three. So at the end of the day, the back is 14 plus one and a half, making 15 and a half or 28 plus 3 okay then our length then the skirt length the skirt length is 33 now 33 i will take 3 inches from it the 3 inches is for band so it will remain with 30 so what i have here is 32 i added 2 inches to it for sewing allowance because i will pull this part up a bit so at the end of the day, we we'll get everything as we want. Okay. So we are going to place our measurements on it. So I'll measure from from here. I'm going to measure waist to hip, and the waist to hip, I'm going to use nine for this. Nine inches. Ooh. Nine inches. Okay. You can decide to subtract the three from it and then the nine inches will be here. The nine inches will be here. So okay, let me instead of nine, let me measure eight because of the band I'm going to add. Eight. Sewing so allowance and everything together. You know the skirt is a bit it's a high waist skirt, so it's okay, it will not be much of a problem with with it it's high waist okay the waist is 30 30 divided by 4 is going to be 7.5 7.5 we are going to add uh that to it which is one making 8.5 plus two inches allowance one two and so that is 10.5 10.5 okay when we, now when we come to the hip the hip is 44 44 divided by 4 is going to be 11. so 11 plus 2 we are not adding the that to it plus 2 is going to be 1 2 that is 13 so we're going to have 13 here this is 13. okay then when we come to the down here you are going to decide how tight you want it to be you can decide to bring the same waist measurement we have here. You can decide to bring the waist measurement that is 10.5. You can decide to bring the same thing also here. 10.5 this way. So when you open up, it's going to be, when you open up, it's going to be 21. The front is going to be 21. The, the back is going to be 21. And so 21, if you take 4 from it, the 4 is going to be for allowance. 2 inches on each side. If you take 4 from it, you are going to have 17. And so 17, if the client, if 17 is okay, I'll maintain it like that. If my client wears and it's too loose, I'll tighten it a bit to maybe 16 or 15. So that she'll get that shape. So I'll leave it like that. So I'm going to join the point. So this is it. And I'm going to come down here a bit 
Okay, a bit like this. Get a round shape here a bit. Then Then I'm going to join it from here to this the down. Okay, hip line is not going to be pointed. You're going to have a bit of curve here because the hip is not pointed. Okay, so this is it. We can cut this out and place it on our lining and cut it. Okay. Okay, so this is it. Our pencil skirt, very simple. Like you can even decide to go more, depending on how tight you want it. But I'm going to maintain this, so I'll put this aside and then get the others. We are going to use this for our band. We want a band of three inches. And what I have here is four inches. So I'll add lining to it. I'll add lining and stiff to it. And so four inches, when I sew the up with the line, the upper part with the lining, half inch, and then join the half inch to the dress, is going to be exactly three and so one is going to be for front and one is going to be for back these are for the belts in front this we are going to pleat it i'm going to line it with the lining very well get everything well and then we'll fold it into two this way this the the width is 13 so if the weight is 13 we are going to pleat it a bit or gather it a bit. We'll gather it a bit. If you look at the style, it's a bit gathered. Gather it a bit. So we are going to get it this way. So it's going to be like So I'll cut lining and do the gather and then show it to you. I'll cut lining, join it to it very well, smoothly. Okay. Then when we, this one to the length is 20. 29 29 on fold 29 on fold the other one this one the length is 11 11 on fold the width is 14 so what i'm going to do is this one to gather we'll gather it a bit and add it to it and then this will be on top so i'll use this to cut lining join attach the lining to it and then show it to you okay guys so this is it i've cut lining for each of them okay so this is what i'm going to this is the front part of it this is the lining and so what i'm going to do is i'm going to attach the lining the right side this is the right side and then i'm going to Touch the lining from there, so I'll place it here. So on top, so on top. Okay, then after I'll just turn it inside this way, and then pull to this way. So then I'll pull it to make sure that it will be equal with the fabric. So when I pull it, this one will come up. So this is it. So the lining will end here. The fabric will continue. And so I'll do it that way. And I'll do the same thing with the back. So I'll divide the back into two. And also attach the lining to it in the same way. Okay. And this is for the band. I have stiff and lining. I've attached the stiff to the lining. I'm going to join it together. Then this is for the big belt we see in the skirts. I've also attached stiff to the lining. I'm going to sew it together. And this is the long one. 
so i'll do that and then come and show it to you okay so guys this is it i'm done attaching line into it i'm going to place my dart on it i'm using a dart of eight so eight divided by two is going to be four okay then i'll mark half inch on each side and i'm going to mark six inches here six inches okay okay then i'll just mark it so i'll turn it and then mark four inches again this side then half inch on both then i'm going to mark my six inches okay so i'll just hold it this way okay so this is it so i'm going to this is the band for the back i'll just divide it into two and i'm going to attach it to it i'll just take this off so after sewing the dart i'll just attach it this way and so it's all through i'll do the same thing for the side also so for the front after sewing the that before attaching the band to it this way i'll place this the big belt here on one side this way i have the smaller one on top i've pleated it one inch one inch one inch one inch so when i place it on i'll place it on it this way so on top before i attach the band to it before i attach the band to it but because i pleated the upper part you can see some few inches here and few inches also here so what i'll do is i'll pleat that part also just a bit something like this then I'll sew on top and pleat this side just as I've done on the smaller parts. So I'll pleat this one also like this. So just like this and then place this one on top this way. And then sew on top before I will attach my band to it. So I'll do that and come and show it to you. Okay guys, so here is it. So, I have this one in and this one is on top this way. So, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to add my measurement to it. So, the waist, I need 15. And what I have here is 19. So, 2 on each side. Then the hip is 43, so that's 21.5. So 
So 21.5. So I have one, two, three, four. So two inches on both sides. Two inches here. Two inches here. And then the down here, I have all to be 20.5. So I want 17 here. So this is 17, 1, 2, 3, 4. So I'll leave 2 inches on each side. I'm going to join the point to get my shape. I'll just pick the back. This is the back of it. And then just place it this way. So the back behind it. Place it this way. And then sew through the drawn line or the shape just so through it so i'll do that and then come and show it to you hey guys so this is it i am done with it so this is the front part of it i'm done and i've also added a zip to the back part and this part i'm going to hem it down hem this place also down and that'll be it then i'll knit the whole dress and i am done okay so this is it please if you're okay with this video like subscribe and also share the video leave a comment thanks so much for watching god bless you bye bye